Okay, so here's another example <laughs> where uh, your three masses, uh, uh, no, two masses, M and M, uh, the masses are both the same. There's no friction, and the the disk also has the same masses. These are the individual objects, but we have tell you now that it's a solid disk. Okay, and the goal is to calculate A. What I would ask you to do at this point is just now stop, stop, pause the video, do the entire problem, and then come back and verify. Okay, because by now I feel like you know you have enough experience, enough examples to to do this entire problem. Okay, so come back and then verify. Uh, whether your answers are you know correct or not. Okay, so as usual, we'll draw free body diagrams. So for the hanging block, I have mg down, I have t up, I have uh, or rather t one up, and I have ma down. For the disc, I have t one in one direction, t two in the other, and it causes its own angular acceleration and for the block on the table I have T to the right and I have M A as a result of that and what we also know is assuming that you know not, there's no slipping we know that A is equal to R alpha so I can already you know work with that okay so at this point let's start writing our equations I get MG minus T1 is equal to MA I have T1 minus T2 times lil r is equal to I alpha. Okay, but what I'm going to do is just move this to the side and I'm going to rewrite this instead as T1 minus T2 is equal to I A over R square. And we'll replace I as one half M r square for the disk times a over r square which makes it equal to simply m a divided by 2 okay and then I have my third equation which is t2 minus m no 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 simply t2 equal to m a okay so these are my three equations let's add them all up I already eliminated alpha so I don't have to deal with it and so when I add them up, I get mg on one side, okay, everything else gets cancelled away, is equal to ma plus half ma and plus ma. And so this tells me that mg is equal to 2 plus half, which is 5 half ma. So therefore, a is equal to 2g over 5. Once I know a, I can calculate t1, t2 everything else okay uh, if we do it correctly t2 ends up being equal to ma so it is equal to 2 mg over 5 and then t1 we know is equal to mg minus ma so t1 equals mg minus ma so it is equal to mg minus 2 fifths mg which is 3 fifths mg all right, so just another example with a bunch of things. Now, if on the say, you know, if we had things going on on an incline, you know, basically everything remains the same. Just remember, if you have a pulley and you have strings on to on either side of the pulley, the tensions in the strings will be different. Okay, unlike what you did with F equals M A, you know, back with Newton's laws, where the pulleys were massless and therefore you didn't have to worry about the tensions being different. But now here, the tensions are going to be different.